I. Foreign policy expert Anne-Marie Slaughter and Columbia University President Lee Bollinger appeared in New York on Saturday at an event that aimed to look past partisan squabbling over immigration, fake news, and the threat of terrorism. Analysis small hand of government. Trump's aim to shrink the state pleases conservatives president is not a natural Reagan Republican. And healthcare reform has failed but many top activists applaud his approach to power and deregulation. Read more the event, A Dangerous Moment. Shades of Red and Blue. Was hosted by the The Ethics Center, an Australian organization. And sponsored by The Guardian. In a series of discussions at the New York Public Library on 42nd Street. Speakers address the rise of Donald Trump and the divided country he now leads. Here's a rundown of how the day's panels panned out. The State of the Union. Watergate or Witch Hunt. This panel featured John W. Dean. A White House counsel in the Nixon administration, Hendrik Hertzberg. A speechwriter for President Carter and a New Yorker staff writer, and John Pat Horowitz. A conservative columnist for Fox News and the New York Post. The discussion focused on misunderstandings between left and right and comparisons between Trump and Richard Nixon. It's not really known what Trump is doing, said Dean. It's very Nixonian. In contrast to the era of Watergate, Dean said. The New York Times and the Washington Post are in battle with each other. A situation which encourages good reporting and close coverage of the Trump administration. Pud Horetz said that in the early 1970 seconds. The church would speak out on moral issues facing the government and people. It would have criticized a candidate like Trump, he said, because of his multiple marriages and comments about women. Those institutions no longer have the moral veto they once did, he said. Pod Horetz added that an issue facing Trump as president is that, it's clear he didn't want a job. Nixon wanted to be president but he hated campaigning said Hertzberg. Just the opposite from Trump. The problem with strangers Trump's travel ban and attitudes towards immigrants as terrorists dominated a conversation between Jamil Dakwa, director of the American Civil Liberties Union Human Rights Program, as Sultan, a strategist of big data and a Republican Muslim American, Sanal Mustafa a 25-year-old Syrian who moved to the United States after she was imprisoned by the Assad regime, and A.L. Eisenstadt, a diplomat and national security advisor to former Vice President Joe Biden. Sultan spoke in favor of Trump's attempts at curtailing Muslim immigration and refugees through tighter vetting and a focus on national security, saying that those such moves were a little wonky.